Which you can you look on my website, and so this is a, one of the seven wonders of Swindon. And we can just go left and um, the idea that Lord Elgin, um, prior to stealing stuff from uh, from the Greeks, was stealing stuff from other places, <laughs> and then he stole these llamas from uh, the Peruvians, and eventually tried to sold them to the um, to the to the Swindon. Um, County Council, and they, they still live here as the only like, the only type of urban right llamas to be found anywhere <laughs> on the planet. And that was that was uh, totally the Cornish couple who came up to look at the Elgin llamas. Um, but it was one of my early early triumphs of um, Photoshop uh, that I got a really good shot of llamas and then a really good shot of, uh, of uh, a background plate here. I went and actually matched the two, so they were the same lens. Same lens, same direction, same height, same inclination, and put them in. But I have a, on. Have a, a special fondness for Elgin Lamas. Straight on the next one, aim for the big view. Uh, because I really yeah. first started writing in about 1988 in a serious way. But prior to that, I wrote little like vignettes, like little paragraphs about people, places, things like that, which was just me having fun with ideas. And one of those ideas was the Elgin Llamas, uh, and that then was regurgitated as one of the seven wonders of Swindon, which is always nice to do. This focus, uh, focus DIY, I've just gone bust. I don't know whether you heard. So if you're after a cheap drill or a hammer or anything, you want to get over there pretty quick. Because apparently they're going to sell everything. I'm always interested by, you know, by the side of the road, you always see one shoe. It's always fascinating me, you know, where it comes from. Heads. You want to sort Straight of heads. find the shoe and then see where its owner was and then trace back the, the history. Find another shoe, yeah. Maybe there's someone who just goes around chucking shoes around. It could be, it could be the jogger. It could be a, the jogger, of course. One-legged jogger. <laughs> Flanders and Swan wrote about it in the Bates State song. Who did? Flanders and Swan. Did they? What, yeah. About joggers? No, about the shoe in the, in the pond. What, what did they say? What was well, there's always a left shoe uh, in the pond. Yeah. Uh, they're finding shoes with feet in them. Has anyone been following this story? No, you have, yeah, yeah. Good, can we share a similar so sadness? Um, yeah, there's, uh, in Canada, they've been, these shoes have been washing up with feet in them. Um, and then some of us go, well, why is, why is someone chopping off people's feet? And they go, no, 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 it rots off and stays in the shoe. And then bobs to the surface because both shoes float. Um, but then someone was saying, isn't it interesting that left-handed and right-handed shoes tend to end up in different areas um, wherever they are? Uh, very strange. And people now are looking into all this sort of tidal things. It's like the, the duck thing. Do you remember the duck thing? Where all those uh, plastic ducks, about 30,000 plastic ducks, split out of a container in like 1986, and they've been they've been popping up all around the planet. And it's been uh, it's been a brilliant way to map uh, global uh, global um, uh, drift and stuff like that. I like the idea of shoes turning up with feet in them. <laughs> Not in Swindon, though. <laughs> Thursday bought a car. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that where? Oh, four. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it bodes well for Swindon, doesn't it, that it has a Porsche dealership. <laughs> I, I still have that, um, that Thursday car with the Isha Led lizards painted on it. And probably, it hasn't been on the road for about five or six years, but I hope to get it back this year, but I say that every year. Just sitting, sitting in my garage. There was going to be a return on that because, of course, she, she, Granny Next. Oh, I wouldn't want to spoil it. <laughs> the, the future Thursday should actually then sell the car back to where she buys it, literally ten minutes before she buys it. So that was always going to be. I, I never looped that story back on itself, but that was always the principle: is that she actually then, you know, goes back in time and sells it literally three minutes before she buys it, and then you realise that the Porsche doesn't exist like so many other things. It can't exist.